Okay, so this one gets a lot of students because we're starting with the base of a fraction and we're getting a whole number. So it says one log base of 1 fifth raised to the 125th power. And again, a couple properties you know, that we understand is first of all, what that's asking is 1 fifth raised to what power gives you 125? And that can probably be pretty confusing if you look at that. So again, if you just kind of start with what we do, let's just pick some of our whole numbers, right? 1, 0, 1, and 2. Well, when looking at anything to the 0 power, we know is 1. So obviously, that's not going to be our answer, because um, we need to get 125, not 1. If I raise 1 fifth to the first power, that's going to be 1 fifth. 1 over to the fifth squared, remember, is 1 squared over 5 squared, which is just going to equal 1 over 25. So again, what hopefully you'll understand is this pattern all I'm going to do is 1 is always going to be in my numerator, but I'm just going to keep on getting larger and larger and larger numbers in my denominator. I need some way to flip that um, so that it's positive. And let's even look at 1 over 5 thirds, or 5 to the third degree. That's going to equal 1 over 125. So it's very close, but I need to get to 125. So again, if you guys remember, when we're talking about negative exponents, um, Remember, if I have x to the m, that equals 1 over x to the negative m. All right? And if I have a over b to the negative m, that equals a over b to the positive m. And I can go back and forth with each one of these um, you know, rules. x to the negative m equals 1 over x to the m. Um, I could do you know, a over b to the um, m, where that's still just going to equal either side. Um, both from theirs. So now the next thing, uh, yes. So the next thing um, that I'd like to go ahead and do is when you're looking at this, is now I have one fifth raised to the to the one twenty fifth. So let's go and take a look at some negative numbers, right? And obviously, if I know it, if positive three gives me one over twenty five, I should probably look at one over fifth taking me to to the negative third power, right? Well, I know that if I take it to the negative third power, oh, <laughs> forgot to write that wrong. That's b over a. Sorry about that. So I know if I rewrite that, if I want to write that as a positive exponent, I can just flip that over. So 1 third to the negative third is equal to 5 over 1 to the positive third, which that's just going to equal 125 over 1, which equals 125. So therefore, the answer to this is just going to equal negative 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, with a little interruption, how to evaluate negative numbers. Thanks.